From one of the most impressive dinosaurs ever found to the latest discovery of extraterrestrial life, here are 10 incredible recent discoveries. Stegosaurus Bones in Morocco, a new species of Stegosaurus has been uncovered. Scientists are believing that this dinosaur dates back to around 168 million years ago during the Jurassic period. Everyone knows and adores the Stegosaurus. It's one of the most popular dinosaurs next to the T-Rex, and British scientists are now believing that the new species discovered in 2019 is the oldest of its kind. In case you need a bit of extra info on the Stegosaurus, it's an armored dinosaur recognizable because of its armor-plated bones and the spikes on its tail. Even though the specimen found in Morocco only contained a few vertebrae, scientists managed to conclude it is indeed a new species. The researchers gave it a very long and confusing name that there's no way I can repeat, but in the local Berber language, it translates to mountain lizard. And that's kind of what a stegosaurus looks like, a great big armored mountain lizard that can eat you. Interestingly enough, this is also the first stegosaurus to ever be found in North Africa. For you dinosaur lovers, this one's for you. Apparently, National Geographic has come out with a new documentary on what dinos looked like based on the technology we have today. Have you seen it? Let me know in the comments below. Alien Life A recent discovery from NASA could be life-changing. According to the chief over at NASA, scientists may be on the verge of finding real alien life. This is after groundbreaking research on Mars and Venus has placed us one step closer to answering the timeless question of whether we are alone in the universe or not. Scientists announced in September of 2020 that the presence of a very unique gas on Venus is hinting at the possibility of alien microbes being alive on the planet. This is coming just two years after the Mars Curiosity rover found evidence of complex organic material in the soil of the red planet. And now scientists are coming to understand that there are other places in our solar system where life could be lurking. Another great possibility is Saturn's moon. While the life discovered is tiny and microbial, that is the exact type of life that we developed from in the first place. That means that perhaps in 500 million years, there could be small animals and insects crawling around on Venus or even on Mars. It also means that with a little bit of a push, these planets could probably sustain life much better than we previously thought. Do you think there is life on other planets? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell if you are new here. We have lots more videos like this. 250,000 year old teeth. There has been a rather sensational discovery in Siberia just recently. This happened in October of 2020 when researchers discovered teeth inside of a cave in Siberia that date back 250,000 years. There were actually two milk teeth and one molar found in the cave. The team from the Novosibirsk Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography were digging in the lowest layers of the cave when they found the teeth. But what's even stranger is that the two milk teeth were 250,000 years old, but the molar found nearby only dates back to 170,000 years. According to the researchers, both teeth belong to an extinct group of ancient humans known as Denisovans who lived across much of Asia. But the story gets weirder and weirder. Siberian scientists also discovered a tiny finger bone that they believe belonged to a female who had lived inside that cave around 41,000 years ago. The finger bone went through analysis and it was then revealed that she was a Neanderthal and very closely related to a modern human. But the real story here is that people, at least ancient people, had been living in that cave for around 250,000 years. To make this a little clearer, we started out as cave people, lived inside of a cave in Siberia for almost 210,000 years, crawled out of it just 40,000 years ago, only figured out how to farm around 10,000 thousand years ago and just figured out how to fly planes 100 years ago. Just let the incredible scale of our evolution sink in there for a minute. New Species of Electric Eels just recently, a fish detective has uncovered a new species of electric eel. Love them or hate them, electric eels are absolutely fascinating. They have unique electrical organs inside their bodies that allow them to produce an electric shock when threatened. But yeah, they are pretty ugly. In any case, a Smithsonian researcher and self-proclaimed fish detective found two new species of electric eels after spending years in the Amazon rainforest studying and documenting the creatures. What's interesting about this discovery is that most scientists thought we had already discovered all the electric eels in existence, but the fish detective proved them wrong. The new eels are not specifically interesting, they're just electric eels, just slightly different from each other. It is fascinating that this one guy stood in the middle of the jungle for 12 or 16 hours at a time just to study and document the fish. In fact, the researcher plans to continue all the way into 2022. The doctor and his team are trying to identify the range of voltages produced by the new eel species. They want to 
sequence the entire genome of electric eels so that they can better study the animal's ecology and behavior. Terrifying Mosquitoes If you live in an area thick with mosquitoes, you know how awful they are. If you've ever been to Africa, many parts of Asia, or in any jungle anywhere, you will know how terrifying mosquitoes really are. But a recent discovery is saying that mosquitoes are actually more terrifying than we have ever known. Yes, they are responsible for more deaths than any war ever thanks to their ability to spread disease. But it actually turns out, according to a study published in Nature, that mosquitoes which carry malaria actually use the wind to travel extremely long distances and escape the harsh and brutal conditions of the desert. This may not sound alarming, but it absolutely is. Smithsonian researchers analyzed thousands of mosquitoes caught by using sticky panels and helium balloons, and they found that many of the infected mosquitoes had traveled hundreds of miles by simply riding on the wind. This means that as wind patterns change, mosquitoes infected with malaria can end up in places that they have not been before. If you've been enjoying your European summer free of mosquitoes, just wait until the winds from the Sahara dump 10 million mosquitoes with malaria in the center of Prague. That will really spice things up a bit. Of course, that's an exaggerated example, but the point is that the scourge of the mosquitoes is far more mobile than we previously thought. The good news is that by studying how they move, we may be able to prevent a future outbreak. Ancient Human Migration Arguably the most interesting point in human existence was when we turned from nomads into farmers. The movement of our ancient human ancestors through Asia and especially through North America was a crucial time for humanity. If we had never crossed from eastern Siberia and migrated into North America, or even if we had just shown up a few years too late, Christopher Columbus would have arrived in America to find it completely empty. It would have actually been a new world. A recent discovery is shedding some light on human movements across the globe around 8,000 years ago. By studying ancient DNA, researchers have identified a complex pattern of human migrations, both eastward and westward. By mapping out how the ancient humans moved across the globe, especially when they were on the brink of farming, we can learn a lot about our own backgrounds. Basically, the movement of humans during the advent of farming resulted in a diverse genetic gradient across all of the globe that can still be seen today. To put it as simply as possible, this new research is showing that not only was there a huge population movement from Eurasia into Europe in the third millennium, which spread Indo-European languages, but there was also a great migration from the steppe in Central Asia to South Asia. This basically shows the exact moment when humanity split between Europe and Asia, with one group migrating west and the other migrating south. Potential Alien Planets Let's move off our planet again for the next discovery. In 2019, two alien planets were found surrounding a nearby star that could potentially be very similar to Earth. This is not great news for us right now, as there's not much we can do about it, but in a few hundred years if we ever start branching out into the solar system, we are going to need these types of possibly inhabitable planets, and researchers just found two more of them. They are actually located pretty close, all things considered. The planets are orbiting a sun known as Teagarden's star, which is only about 12 and a half light years from us. That's only 6 trillion miles. According to an article from Space, the two planets resemble the two inner planets of our own solar system. They're only a little heavier than Earth and are still in the habitable zone. Just like Earth and Mars, this means that there could be water in a liquid form on the surface of one of these planets. This news comes from part of a special research team who searches for exoplanets using incredibly advanced technology. The only issue with these two newly discovered planets is that the star they orbit produces less light and less energy than our own sun. This could make it very hard to get a good tan if we ever end up moving 12 and a half light years from Earth. It also means that the planet would have to be closer to the sun and that each orbit around the sun would be much shorter. Imagine if the sun was as close as the moon and every day was only 16 or 18 hours. These are the kinds of challenges we will face when landing on new planets. African Swine Fever In October 2020, three cases of African swine fever were discovered in wild boar in the east of Germany. This is not a fun or exciting discovery, it's actually pretty scary, and you won't hear many people talking about it. This newest batch of African swine fever cases brings the total to 53 since the Germans found the first one in early September. The only good thing is that all of the cases of African swine fever were found in wild animals and not in farm animals, but that did not stop China from actually banning the import of German pork in September after the first case was confirmed. That should be extremely alarming to anyone. The only good news is that this disease is not dangerous to humans, it is only fatal to pigs, but a massive outbreak could potentially destroy the pork supply 
apply for the world. Another risk obviously when it comes to an animal disease is that it somehow mutates and then does become harmful to humans. The fact that in a single month there have been confirmed 53 cases discovered of African swine fever in wild animals in Germany is not something to snort about. If you're watching this video down the road in 2021 and are wondering why pork is so expensive, this discovery could have something to do with it. Humans stop the Ice Age it's incredible that in 2020, people still don't believe in global warming. It's even more incredible considering the recent discovery that the Ice Age has actually been delayed thanks to humans by around 100,000 years. The effects of global warming around the world are so severe that we have not only stopped the incoming Ice Age, but have delayed it inevitably. In a report by CNN, they say that researchers are suggesting that humans have interfered so significantly with the natural carbon balance of the planet that the next glacial cycle is not coming anytime soon. Scientists in Germany recently found that the last eight ice ages on Earth are all able to be explained by a relationship between solar radiation hitting the surface of the Earth and CO2 concentrations in our atmosphere. By using that information, scientists were able to predict the future of glacial cycles, also known as ice ages. The takeaway from this discovery is that by burning fossil fuels over the past 100 years, we have affected the climate of the planet for the next 100,000 years. There's actually no reversing it at this point. To put this in some perspective, it usually takes around 10,000 years or more for the planet to cool enough to usher in a brief ice age of a few thousand years. But in just one century, we have heated the planet so much that there is no chance of an ice age happening again until probably people are extinct or living on Mars. Beaked Whale Everyone loves a new species discovery. It's definitely a lot more fun than discoveries of diseases and pollution. Off the coast of Hokkaido in Japan, a new species of beaked whale has been confirmed. Beaked whales are nothing new to Japan. Whalers have known about them for years. However, a research group managed by Hokkaido University collected six unidentified specimens along the coast of the Okhotsk Sea. It became apparent that they were dealing with a new species. The new whales that they discovered looked much like the old beaked whales already familiar to the locals, but they had different external characteristics that were quite noticeable like the proportions of their body and their color. They had shorter beaks, smaller bodies, and a darker color compared to the already known species. This prompted a study which eventually yielded the results which were published in the journal Scientific Reports. It turned out that yes, the researchers had stumbled upon a totally new species of beaked whale which they then named B. minimus because of its smaller body. While this may sound like a great big boring story, it's actually pretty interesting considering how large these whales are and how little we know about them. For example, the leader of the research team says that they still don't know what an adult female beaked whale looks like. The whales live extremely deep in the ocean and because of this they are very difficult to spot. At the end of the day, the point is that scientists are still discovering a variety of different ocean species, even today. Which of these discoveries is the most exciting, or the scariest? Let me know what you think in the comments, and thank you for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Come back soon for another exciting video.